out between Branch and Filio. Age, not much a difference. There you see the size, a good five inches to David Branch and weight very similar. The big question, Boz, we have is which Paulo Filio are we gonna see? That's the big question. Yep, you got it right. And you know what? When I look at Paulo Filio, I met him in Japan a couple of times. He looks completely different. His facial is looking completely different. He's a different person. You know, and if he really come, wants to come back on a big stage and show everybody who he is, but we're gonna see some fireworks. All right, we set it inside the cage for the official introductions. Here is Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the middleweights of the World Series of Fighting are ready to rock the rebel in three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the blue corner, this man holds a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's coming off of a decision win at World Series of Fighting One. His professional record, 11 wins, three losses. At six feet, one inch tall, he weighed in at fight time at an even 185 pounds. Training at Henzo Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and fighting tonight out of Brooklyn, New York. Here And now his opponent fighting from the red side of the cage, also a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt trained in judo. His record, 23 wins with four losses and two draws. He stands five feet, eight inches tall and weighed in at 184 and one half pounds. Training with Brazilian top team, fighting tonight out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is a former pride superstar and WEC middleweight champion. Your referee in charge of the cage is Kevin Mulhall. Hello. Hello. Back up. Back up. Oof. Hardest job at Kevin Mulhall House tonight is keeping these guys in their neutral corners until we're ready to go. And Paulo Filio looks like he is ready to charge this. For the second time, Mulhall has to put him back. And Branch also answering. It's on. Paulo Filio is going to be attacking all sides, and you know, we know that Branch is picking his shots always. Wait for the right moment. Steps, angles. Look at that. Very nice. Filio should go. Ah, well, I thought Filio should try to go for a takedown, at least shoot one time, get inside his head. This is kind of a surprise seeing Branch do this because he's certainly stepping into Paulo Filio's world. Yes. But then again, train with the Gracies. Yep. You know, who really cares, he says. In half guard, what is he going to do to me? Feel your sharp punches there. It's not going to do a lot. David Branch needs to create some space here. But at the moment he does that, Feel is going to try to put him in the guard. We talked about before the introductions about which Paulo Filio we were going to see. Of course, he had such great success early on in the WEC, and then he made the jump over to Pride, had some personal setbacks that really caused him some time out of the cage. But when he's on and he's got a clear head and things are good, this kid is dangerous. Yeah, he's all over the place, can knock you out, can't submit you. A lot of wins by submission. I mean, like 10. And then he mixes in three knockouts. You know, and that was early. Then when he was really strong, then right. later on the ski, he, he, he got more decision with the victories. Those are powerful shots here, come from Branch on top. David Branch, much taller at 6'1". Yeah, Branch knows that once he creates some space, Filio is going to try to put him in the guard, you know. He don't want to have that because then he neutralizes everything. Kevin yeah, Mulho here, he might even put him back on the feet yeah. if nothing more significant is going to happen. Boy, Branch is just working over the rib section of Paulo Filio. He does, but it won't stop him. So eventually the referee will pull him back up. He needs to throw a big headshot in there. Filio is just resting it out. Yeah, this is surprising. He's not even trying to escape. And we saw this Those same kind of power. Yeah, shots. he's just going to work him over and tenderize that midsection. Filo does not seem to be in any hurry to get out of this situation. You see Branch every time picking up the power a little bit more. He goes, well, he's not trying. Might as well load up a little bit more. 
These may not be shots he's going to feel in the next 20 minutes, but I guarantee tomorrow morning, boss, you've been there before. What's that like? Yeah, and it's not a fun feeling. You know, and especially with my buddies, because everybody's cracking jokes all the time. And you don't want to laugh at that moment. Very painful. Look at those, those are hard shots. Wow, oh, he's getting a mount. That would be crazy. I mean, what is going on here? Paulo's corner remains quiet. Like he's content to let him work himself out of this situation. Well, now he's got the Gava put his head up against the fence, which is perfect for that. Right. Yeah, he's yeah, just, just tee off on him now. Yeah. Paulo needs to get one leg in between. It's easier to do the wall walk, so to say, in a half guard than do it from guard, especially if you keep him pressed like that. He can't create space in order to do it. Boy, Grant just continues to work on that left side of Paulo Filio as we approach 90 seconds to go in this one in round number one. Still, it's a long time, but Filio's got to get going doing something. Otherwise, Branch is just going to continue to tee off on him. That was a hard shot there on top. Filio might be looking for an arm bar. Is how he submitted Shale Sonnen, but that again, that arm bar was something yeah. I, I, I could see coming 20 seconds before I go, whoa, guys. You got to see it. And uh, Branch working, of course, with the Gracie camp. He will stay out of those. Both these guys have been around the MMA game. Of course, Branch dabbled in the UFC and Bellator and Filio with pride in the WEC. You know, I'm afraid this is maybe not going to be a stoppage, but if this is effective for Branch in round one, why would he even take a risk in round two to not do the same thing? You see, and you already hear the audience now. Yeah, fans not happy with what they're seeing. No. 30 seconds to go, and looks like Paulo's gonna try to work something on the ground, but he's just, it's not being really aggressive as an approach to attacking David Branch. That is very effective there. The knee to the buttocks, <laughs> so to say. The gluteus maximus. The, the gluteus maximus, because there's a big muscle there. Well, shut down your whole leg. Look at wow. this. Can Paulo Filio hold on to see round number two, or will David Branch end it? And it looks like we will go to a second round here in Atlantic City. You're watching the World Series of Fighting 2 from Rebel. Still to come tonight, Marlon Morris taking on Tyson Nam, and there is Marlon getting ready for his opportunity to shine on the NBC Sports Network. I know it ain't over till it's over, but uh, Filio really needs to do something here now. He has to start swinging. He cannot let Branch get into his rhythm again because he's just going to repeat what he did in round number one. His reflexes are not even there. Filo really he struggling tonight as David Branch is just teeing off on him. Connects with everything. Yeah, and there we wow. go again. Just drops him. And now, now he smells the victory. Now he's going to extend. He's got both legs, as I can see here. Yeah, well, can he keep both in between? Because if he gets a mount now, that's going to be it. He's got to feel the other arm away, the right arm of Filio. Filio is trying to get back up now. Branch is a great thighs. job, though. He's, I mean, he's, I'm, yeah, he's continuing exactly. to bring something. Because that's a great thing to do, because that muscle is relaxed at that moment. That will have tremendous impact. Might not look for the people at home. Alongside Boss Root and Tina Dixon, I'm Todd Harris. Welcome to Revel, Atlantic City, New Jersey. We are inside Ovation Hall. Wow. And Kevin Mulhall says the fans deserve better. Well, we see now that uh, what we asked before, what Philo would yeah. now, now we start throwing bombs, but it's wow. it's not the one we used to now. see. Explosiveness. Yeah, this is gonna finish him now. He's got his right arm pinned back, and now Branch can just tee off on Paulo Filio, and he just has no response. I think David Branch, the only thing he's fatigued from is raining down punches. If I was Branch, I would throw the left knee to the body now. 
Castillo can't see that coming, and if he doesn't do this, they're going to stop the fight. Yeah, Kevin Mullins, not very in close. Position. He's not intelligently defending himself, and that's what they talked about in the rules meeting. And he can't complain if they're going to stop. Yeah, there we go. He tries to, he's got to pull that left arm out. This is very important, otherwise he can't get out of there. We saw John Jones doing this to the janitor. Machushenko. He's just, I mean, he's just teeing off. There's no resistance being offered at all by Paulo Filio. No buck up. There is nothing there. He's got the arms pinned. He's just. He's, he's counting out loud. 16, 17, 18. And now he's going for Okimura, but yeah, Filio sees that coming. Side choke maybe now. There well, we go. Paulo Filio, anything's yeah, gonna be better than that coming. 50 he, punches he just took and a big welt forming over his right brow. Yeah. Filio feels the side choke coming though because he didn't let him jump over to the other side. If Branch now, with his head, would catch that arm in between the head and his head and jump to the other side, there will be a side show. But let's move to north south. Why not? You know, he's letting him do anything. Might as well try it. Yeah, this is a very one-sided fight. I don't know what to say. I can't, I can't say anything about this. It's, there's nothing coming from the other person. I'm surprised that we're not hearing more from Paulo Filio's corner. They seem to be just as stunned as everyone else. And I think Kevin Moho, our referee, is in a difficult situation because David Branch is basically just teeing off. Him. And I think he played a good point. He's not intelligently defending himself. That's it. You know, you might as well stop it. Because who wants to see this now? Then again, you know, we, I've seen crazier things happening. It needs only one shot, one little mistake. Yeah. You know, it is always possible, so there we go, North South choke. Yeah, well, this could be it. There, Paul Filio's lifting his hands. Yeah. Trying to be offensive in some way, but no, he's, like, even here, he's... Filio is really good on the ground, you know. He should be able to defend himself, but, you know, everybody can see that this is not the Filio we know. So uh, that's why I thought he might even pull that off. David Branch having his way here in round number two as we go under 10 seconds. And this peculiar fight looks like it will go to a third and final round here in Atlantic City. Some spleen shots delivered with the left hand, which is normally the liver shot. This is the corner of Paulo Filio as the doctors have now been called in and they are taking a look at his midsection. You know, it has no use. You know, we'll, do you want to see another round like this? Well, you know, like I said, there's been crazier things. He could have been play possum. You never, never know. He can come out swinging now for the fences. So here we go with the third and final round. Paulo Filio in the black trunks. David Branch in the white trunks has completely owned this fight. Filio just really not seeming to be that interested. And he has let Branch just go to work on it. Maybe the most surprising thing is we've made it to the third round and Branch has been able to close out Filio who just seems not even interested in defending himself. And now he goes to work once again on him. Yeah, Brian says, I want to uh, I want to get yeah. finish this now, you know? It would almost be a success for Paulo Filio if he could get this to the judge's cards. Survive three whole rounds. It's obviously that Branch is in full control, but Branch is obviously looking for the stoppage. So this is another fight you want to look back if you're Paulo Filio, Filio right now. It's a shame. Come on, baby. Pepper him, pepper him. It's almost like... Um, Branch is looking for that side choke the whole time. He tries to put his head, you see, against the tricep, the right tricep of Filio. But then he's got the cage in the way if he wants yep. to go for a side choke. He cannot jump to the other side. 
Let's go, get busy, I'm gonna I will bring these to the thigh, uh, to the belly. Yeah. Wow, this is just... Remember, he was working on the left side of Filio in round number one. Now he's working on that right side. Yeah, which is, that's where the liver is. And he hits it also a little bit more to the back, so that's the kidney area as well. Changes into elbows. That will be a very good decision now as well. I think the thing that's so perplexing, Boss, is we both have seen Paulo Filio in better form, is where is the Paulo Filio we saw two or three years ago? That's the thing, you see, you know, this is H. It has to be, you know, he slowed down, his reflexes are off, on the speed, branch was lead, landing everything he wanted. Right. Jabs, straight punches, whatever he was throwing, he was landing. So you see, this is the moment that you say, okay, I gotta hang it up because this is not a great thing to do. You no. know, if you do this three times in a row, you're not gonna keep one fan. People are gonna forget all the great things he did. A short burst there coming from Paulo Filio, really doing no damage to David Branch. Yeah, but one little crazy elbow like that that cuts you open. Can you imagine something like that would happen now? It is possible. Still to come, Tyson Nam and Marla Moraes and Anthony Johnson and Andre Arlovsky in the main event. And I guarantee you, those two fights are going to be much, <laughs> much more different. competitive. Yeah, you hear the audience, they got to simply... You see, it's good that I'm not a ref. I would have said, okay, stop it, because there's nothing It's nothing a one-sided fight, yeah. It's a yeah. one-sided fight. No this is a, a training run for David Branch as Paulo Filio is really not offering up a lot of defense or any offense. All right, if you're David Branch in his corner, how important is it for you to get a stoppage here or submit? I will, I would, I will make it very important. Yep. You know, just put an exclamation mark on this whole performance here. Push yourself upwards now. Just go to the center of the ring. We got a minute and a half to go, and then just go to town standing. Yep. You know, see if you can land a high kick. You know, this. This just is stand him up. Good. And David Branch has got some frustration on his face. Well, Paul Filio, I'll tell him that he's a survivor. I don't know what this is. He's he has taken an absolute beating in this fight. So to see him still on his feet is amazing. Let's go for the liver shot now. You know, and that's good thinking because he's tired. And he already peppered him up there. Left hook, right straight, then liver shot. That would be a good thing to do. Phil needs to Hail Mary. 40 seconds. Whatever he has left to get in his gas tank, he needs to throw on now. Just go crazy. 30-second burst is the only thing that Paulo Filio's got here. It just looks like, as you said, nothing in the take as David Branch with the height and reach advantage, who's absolutely owned this fight, doesn't look to give Paulo Filio any openings. There we go with the high kick, uppercut, right hook, everything is a hit. Nice elbow, another uppercut, another takedown. And he's gonna put him on his back. Well, wow. And that is it. The middleweight bout, three rounds, has come to a conclusion. When we return to Atlantic City, we'll have the official decision. Ovation Hall World Series of Fighting Two at the conclusion of a middleweight bout between David Branch and Brazilian Paulo Filho. And Filho, other than the first two minutes of round number one, offered very little resistance as David Branch continued to rain down heavy leather on the Brazilian who really struggled to get any offense or defense going in this fight. It was all David Branch, and poor Paulo Filho just took an absolute beating, something he's not going to soon forget. So at the end of three rounds, it does go to the judge's decision, but for the most part, the folks here in the near sold out Ovation Hall already know the outcome of this one. We send it in for the official decision and Tim Hughes.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we send it to the judges' scorecard. Judge Billick scores the fight 30-26. Judge Rodriguez, 30-27. And Judge Torelli scores the fight 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner, David Branch. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah, you gotta wake up, grab your crew and lace up. Make it move right now, cause.